So, Mr. Beathead 1000, drinking my morning coffee here. Having prepared your package. Sorry, this is the most disgusting envelope I could find. Um, don't know what happened to it. Gonna put some paper over there and then it's going to sh go out to your place. Um, we're just looking up the postal coast here for the world because you're not in Europe. Um, apparently I need six stamps non-normalized so ten bucks that's still alright I thought it would have been more expensive gonna write your address now talk to you later package is ready let's go to the post office let's go to the post office outside at the post office bought some stamps to put in your package I have to put six on this envelope and naturally they only sell them by five so I uh, have one four over of course typical well let's do this So, I hope your packages will arrive safe and sound. Ah, dear Mr. Pithead 1000, what were you thinking? You wrote on the package, worth 40, 40 dollars electronics, while you only paid one dollar for it. Now I had to pay 31 I don't know if you can see this, 31 euros in taxes and you had to pay 34 dollars in shipping so in the end this box, this Genesis 3 set us both back 35 euros or dollars and it's a pretty expensive Genesis 3 this way but I've been wanting a Genesis 3 for a very long time um, I bought this magazine the buyer's guide for 1999 probably in early 1999 it says here until display of uh, <clears throat> February 1999 but I probably bought it around that time I never heard of Genesis 3 they didn't exist in Belgium oh page fell out but in this magazine you had the end of the line apparently the last game for the Genesis was released in 1998 or 1997 so they sit in this magazine end of the line for the Genesis 3 and I said whoa never heard of a Genesis 3 I knew the American name was Genesis but never saw one of those Ah, so when Bithead 1000 found one of these on the flea market for a, a dollar I guess I know, I don't guess, I know for sure. I asked him, dude, because he said, I actually don't want it. He said, send it my way, I'll send you some exclusive PAL games for the NES to complete this NES collection. He said, alright, I'll do it right away. But, it doesn't matter. 
You can't take money to the afterlife, but I want to be buried with my Sega systems. Like the Vikings of old, they were buried with their horses and their swords. My casket, my grave, has to be filled with Sega systems. So, when I get to the afterlife, I can play those in heaven. Whoa, these are six button controllers. Damn, some pretty sweet packaging right here. I Smells good, smells good. The, the Sega power supply, that's nice. The only problem with the system was that the actual power button was missing, as you can see. But I've seen clones of this system, um, Russian clone, uh, Chinese clones probably, of this system, and I thought maybe. If I find one of those, I can like repurpose the power button and make this one complete. It actually, everybody says it's super light, but actually, I kind of think it feels pretty heavy. Was expecting it to be much more light. Uh, it doesn't do RGB natively, but it does. I like this uh, controller actually. I thought uh, the, six, the American six button was the same, but this one is different uh, than uh, the ones we got over here, and it still says Sega. The buttons do feel kind of loose. Here's also somebody has been at it. They're trying to t tear this out. Uh, don't know what that's all about, but I guess it still works. Let's find out, shall we? So, as you can see, it works rather perfectly in RGB, in the place to be, yeah, whatever, this is one of the greatest games ever, Midnight Resistance, that, Mom, something seems to be wrong with the volume. There's sound coming out, I can hear it, but very faintly. I don't know what's up with that. Maybe it's maybe my RGB cable doesn't uh, support the sound out, but I can hear the sound. So definitely some uh, wrong connection or something. Can you hear the music? No, you can probably only hear the... Uh, I'm gonna check on the back. Maybe I misconnected the cable or something. Yeah, probably a wrong cable. I don't know, the connections are all correct. I don't know if this is not an official Sega cable. And maybe it has something to do with that. I don't know. Only thing left to say is but thank you very, very much, BitHead1000. Even though it both cost us an arm and a leg, this is a cool, very cool system. And I've been wanting it since the friggin' day I got this magazine. So, yeah, that's pre pretty cool. This magazine is also, I read it a thousand times on holiday with my parents. It uh, has all the uh, 
review index from all the game systems from the start of EGM. Not that I'd always agree, but in the times before you could easily get online. Whoa, the sound is coming through, guys. That probably means a capacitor problem because. But that doesn't matter. Oh shit, I took the wrong weapon. Damn. I love this game. Ah, I died. If you can ever buy this game, I got a loose card somewhere for 5 euros that looks really horrible. I spent 10 hours cleaning it, but it's so worth it. It's a Contra game, Contra style game. I mean, there are not a lot of these sort of games. You have uh, Gunstar Heroes, Contra, but other than that... I mean, like really good shmups. Oh uh, shit! Really good shooters. You don't have a lot of those. Anyway, I was talking about the magazine, so I got that one, and it reviews all the review score. It features all the review scores from the late ninety, uh, from the early late eighties, I guess, to the early nineties, and that makes it so cool. So, Pithead 1000 included a note. Hi Tom, I'm sorry to tell you that the system is missing the AV cables. No problem, Pithead 1000. Uh, I already own like three or four cables for the system. I think the AV cables are the same as the Model 2. Yep, they are. Which is super common around here. Also around here. If you have trouble finding the AV cords, I will keep an eye out for you. I'm really glad to have met you, and I really appreciate your support for the show. I really love your show, man. I'm not sure, but it's possible that your show was the inspiration for starting to do YouTube myself. If you ever, by the way, got a view from Ethiopia, that was me. <laughs> um being on holiday and watching BitHead 1000 on a super slow internet connection. It's guys like you that make me turn on the camera every week. I hope you enjoy the system. Well, like I said earlier, I will enjoy the system. It still works. It looks pretty damn awesome, even without its uh, power switch, which I will one day find a replacement for. And it will go in the rest in my Sega collection. And when I die, I will order my children to bury me with all my Sega CDs, my Sega Genesis Mega Drive and CD systems. Thank you very much, Bithead 1000, once again. I'm super, I mean, I'm, I'm super sorry you had to pay $34 for this. Damn. But if you ever send anything abroad again, remind, a little reminder, mark the value as $1.00 and say that it's a gift then nobody will fuss about it here in Europe see you later <laughs>